dinner with Eve Malone. We just played the dinner music while people were eating. Mm -hmm. you know, after dinner music, you know, we had a set that no matter what event it was, this was the set we were going to do because it got everybody on their feet and got them out on the dance floor. And it was, you know, it, it never failed us. So it was like, you know, this is the one thing that we're always going to do every time just to get that audience engaged. Now dinner's done. Now it's our turn. We're going to, you know, keep the rest of the night going. So that was, like I said, it's, you've got to have audience involvement. Now, what kind of games did you use to play with your audience? We had a couple of different ones. We had actually bought some of those really, really small bicycles that kind of to fold up. They were, the wheels were about yay big. <laughs> and uh, we would have the mini bike races uh, right across the dance floor. We'd just set it up and get teams up. And boom, they take off on these little mini bikes. We had uh, one, I think, I think we called it 21 is the name of it. And we were styrofoam cups. And you had to create a pyramid of styrofoam cups using all the cups that we had available. And again, it was a team race where you'd start on one end of the dance floor, run up with a cup, place it, and then whichever team had it. Because what was interesting about what the teams had to, they learned the hard way, is if you ran too fast up to your pile of cups, the wind would knock your whole pyramid over. So they had to learn, you know, how much speed to approach that pyramid with in order to get their, their cup set up. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when it was starting to die down, we would just do the party train. So we would start the party train music, and Zach would get on his microphone, and he'd start it up. And we would walk through the whole, not just the, let's say it was a hotel. So he would do this not just in the room that the, they had reserved for their events, but, I mean, he'd take it out to the hall, wrap it around. Uh, we did a, one golf course. He actually took it outside around the golf course, through the patio, and back into the, the room we were at. And we just had the music turned up, and, you know, people would just join the party train, you know, because it was just, hey, it's something different, you know, and, you know, you're not on the dance floor necessarily dancing, you know, for those that don't dance, well, anybody can join a party train. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Those are those sort of things, you know, and it was really just keeping an eye on the audience and what their level was. If they were on the floor dancing, then by all means, we'll keep them dancing. But you're going to tire after 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So switch it up, do something different. Uh, some of the DJs I know, they bring out costumes for the audience and you know, put them on the dance floor and let them use the costumes. Uh, we did an air guitar contest where we actually brought a, some inflatable guitar from a party store. So we had our whole rock set, you know, AC, DC, and things like that, throw out these air guitars and people be, you know, playing the air guitar. So it was that sort of thing that just, you know, surprises people like, whoa, where did this come from? And they have fun with it. So. Mm -hmm. 